What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today, and in this video we are Des Moines International Airport for the 32nd Airport Update for the month of August 2023. Now I'm using my uh, shotgun microphone on my camera for this video because as I'm recording this I'm in the midst of recording a lot of the uh, pre-Sioux Falls Airshow movements and this microphone will be used for all Sioux Falls Airshow content. So let me know how this sounds like and if you want me to keep this microphone or just go back to what I had previously. So. With that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and get right into this. Starting off at Gate Alpha 1, we had this Allegiant Airbus A320. This aircraft came in from Los Angeles on Flight 788, right on time at 11.44 a.m. So we're starting off this airport update on a really good note. So good to see that Des Moines also gets L.A. just like Sioux Falls. At Gate Alpha 3, we had the Southwest 737-700 in the Hart livery. This aircraft arrived in on a service from Denver as Flight 784, arriving in at 3.48 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 3.55 p.m. arrival. One thing I do want to mention is that I think we're pretty much done with the Canyon Blue 700s now. I think there there may still be a couple that are left flying around somewhere, um, but the numbers are very, very minimal. So if you're looking to get one of those before they get all repainted into the hard livery, probably a good opportunity to go out to, the, to your local airport if you're getting a Canyon Blue 700 and catching it because... Yeah, they will be gone, and the only one that we'll have left is that Max 8. So I know that Gemini and NG have announced it. I am planning on getting the Gemini here pretty soon, but again, uh, still on, still waiting to fully recover from the airliners convention before I make any further purchases with airplane models. Got our usual slate of United mainline aircraft up over here. Let's go ahead and take a look at Gate Alpha 2 with this United 737-800 in the Evo Blue livery. Yes, I made sure to grab the right aircraft this time, as in last month's update, I accidentally grabbed my 900, so apologies on that. This aircraft arrived in on a service from Denver as flight 2265. This arrived in at 3.58 p.m., had to be scheduled 4.05 p.m. arrival, so pretty close to the Southwest flight that we just took a look at. Um, so United and Southwest operating flights at pretty much the same time at that 3 to 4 o'clock window from Denver. And then our other United aircraft here is this Airbus A319 from Houston. So this aircraft has basically not moved an inch since the last update. So this is the Houston flight, like I said, flight 715 from George Bush Intercontinental. This arrived in at 11.19 p.m. delayed from a 10.13 p.m. scheduled arrival, so an hour and six minute delay for this aircraft. That is everything we have here at Concourse A. Let's go ahead and check out Concourse C. Got a couple more planes over here, but nothing too much different from what we had at A. At Gate Charlie 2, we had this Delta 717-200. This aircraft came in from Atlanta as flight 2086 at 5.39 p.m. had to be scheduled 5.50 p.m. arrival. Beautiful head-on shot with this American Airbus A319 with CFM engines and fence tip winglets. This aircraft arrived in from Dallas-Fort Worth as flight 2229 at 7.22 p.m. delayed from a 7.01 p.m. scheduled arrival, so a delay of 21 minutes for this aircraft. At Gate Charlie 7, we have this American Eagle CRJ-200. This aircraft arrived in from Chicago O'Hare as Flight 6254, operated by Air Wisconsin. At 10.21 a.m., delayed from a 9.34 a.m. scheduled arrival, so just like last month, we had a bit of a delay with the uh, Air Wisconsin CRJ-200s. Maybe thinking of the Sioux Falls update, actually, because I don't remember what last month's Des Moines um, Air Wisconsin CRJ-200 flight was like. But this particular flight is delayed by 47 minutes, so a bit of a delay, but it's better than what we had last month with the one that I'm thinking of. At Gate Charlie 3, we have this Delta Connection CRJ-900. This aircraft arrived in from Minneapolis as Flight 5337, operated by Endeavor Air. This arrived in at 4.40 p.m., a bit behind a 4.30 p.m. scheduled arrival, so just a 10-minute delay for this aircraft. And finally, to round things off for this update at Gate Charlie 1, we have another American aircraft, this time an American Eagle Embraer 175. This aircraft arrived in from New York LaGuardia as Flight 4250, operated by Republic Airways, at 6.34 p.m. had to be scheduled 6.37 p.m. arrival. And that will do it for Des Moines, August of 2023. So again, if this airport update looked very similar to last month, I do apologize because the schedules that I'm using, um, we're still in July as I record this, because what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get ahead of schedule with this Des Moines airport update, because usually I like to film these the weekend before they're supposed to come out, because then it gives me plenty of time to get them all completed, and especially when I'm in college, since I won't necessarily have access to my camera and all that stuff. Um, as I edit videos and all that since I'd like to leave that at home. So it's not necessarily a big distraction for me as I'm trying to work on college-related stuff. So one last thing I do want to hit on before I end the video here. I do want to talk about the Lyft DSM project. 
So basically this is a huge project for the Des Moines International Airport that they're working on to improve the passenger experience. Um, right now they have like renderings and stuff um, posted online of um, some parking garage updates and also um, they're working on how the new terminal is going to look like which is going to look great. I can't wait for that stuff to come out. And basically, as I said, just to improve or lift the passenger experience for travelers um, coming into or flying out of Des Moines. So that's awesome. I will link the um, uh, Lyft DSM uh, webpage in the description if you want to look at it for yourself. Uh, but over time, as more news comes out regarding that, I will be sure to report on that in uh, these airport updates. So we'll have another new um, update thing, another update segment, just like what I have with Sioux Falls right now as they're currently working on their parking garage and also that master plan that they have going on for them. So I'll talk more about that in next week's update um, as there's some pretty big updates on the parking garage there actually, so stay tuned for that. But like I said, I will link the Lyft DSM webpage in the description if you want to look at it for yourself. Um, I figured I'd let, let them do all the talking instead of me, since necessarily I will not be able to go to Des Moines um, anywhere near, near as often um, to check out any sort of construction updates and all that. So I'll have to rely on other sources like the local news and all that, or even some local Des Moines spotters that they're willing to provide some tips and all that, uh, which would be appreciated, but you don't feel like you have to do that if you don't want to. I'm not forcing anybody to do that in any way, shape, or form. So, with that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.